Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about filtering digital images. Hey David, do colored filters increase contrast on shooting in black and white on a DSLR? So the short answer is yes, but not as much as they do with black and white film. And the reason for that is because black and white film sees a much larger array of light rays and colors than digital cameras do. And so when a colored filter is used to adjust the way that that light hits the film and the, the, the properties of that light, then the, um, the film behaves differently in a much more drastic way than the digital sensor. Digital sensors have a, re a far reduced dynamic range compared to film. So when you shoot digital, if you're going to use any filters whatsoever, a circular polarizing filter is a good idea to use to control the darkness of skies and the amount that reflections are given off of by things like water, rocks, windshields, and so forth, glasses. Those can be really good for affecting the way that an image reaches your sensor and really helping you in post when it comes to achieving certain looks with your images. Uh, you could also use gradient filters, gradient neutral density or gradient color filters, because those are good at affecting the way that light hits your sensor as well and giving you effects that are achievable in post, but nice to have in camera. But other than that, colored filters don't really make a huge difference in digital shooting. The better way to get high contrast or different contrast when shooting digitally, so all of this assumes that you're going to be shooting in RAW. So when you get your, your color digital image back and open it up in your RAW editor, you want to reduce the contrast as much as you can to the point where it starts to look a little bit too flat. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your highlight, shadow, white, and dark sliders to control the levels of your highlight shadows, whites and darks. And that's going to give you a better control over your contrast and tonal range within your image than shooting with a filter will. Now after you've done that, what you can do is start bringing the contrast back up with your contrast slider. But what happens when you reduce the contrast using your contrast slider, you effectively give the appearance of more detail in your highlights and shadows because you're bringing the histogram up on your shadows and bringing it down on your, your highlights to make everything just a little bit more flat. You're undoing some of that by using the highlight shadow white and black sliders, but you're doing that when you have those details preserved by reducing the contrast to begin with. If you want to see what colored filters do, I do have two videos, they're linked in the description, that show me swapping out different colored filters in front of a camera as it's recording video. And uh, those should give you an idea of what they do, but the effects of them is, are not nearly as dra dramatic as it is with film. So I recommend not using colored filters for digital and just doing all of your correction in post.